Next up, we take the kids fishing. Nick Lacan and I, along with two of his boys, Baron and Corbin, track down midsummer bluegills that have left the shoreline and taken up residence on an offshore hump. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Thill Floats and Alumacraft Boats. There he goes, he already bit it. Baron. Flip that, <laughs> flip that bail over. There we go, just watch him, he'll bite it again. There he goes, get him. Keep the rod tip up. What are you supposed to say, fish well, on? Ooh, good gilly. Lift him right up over here. Look at that. Hoist him right in here, bud. So let me ask you a question. What could be better than starting a fishing trip when you throw one line in and show everybody what you're gonna do and you get a good gill to start? Look at that, good fish, buddy. That doesn't count for the buck till everybody's in the water. This is gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna fish with Nick Lacan and his kids, Baron and Corbin. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do what I think is way, way, way overlooked and people aren't doing enough of, and that's just going fishing for fun, bending rods, catching panfish, and most importantly, getting the kids out on the water. And that's what Nick and I are gonna talk a lot about today because when it comes down to it, this right here is some of the cleanest fun that you can give your kids. And that's a good start, right? Happy with that start? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ooh, and it's gone. What go. do you say? Fish on or John doesn't know what's Good going on, on back Swing here. Swing him back here, that's a nice one. Look at that, he didn't get your minnow either. Yeah, another good gill. I'll show you what we're using here real quick because it's a simple little deal. Are we still going to use the minnow? Yep, we're going to still use a minnow. But in between the chaos, I want everybody to know, oh, another fish. Swing him up here, another good one. You know what, we'll use that one. You guys can bait that one back up. 16th ounce Lindy Little Nipper. Pretty easy deal. Phil Pro Series float, just using one of the smaller sizes. All we're doing, we're fishing minnows today. It's midsummer. I know most of the time people think about crawlers for bluegills, but I'll tell you what, midsummer, they like minnows. And they'll eat a minnow just as fast as a crawler, and minnows keep your boat a little bit cleaner. Whole bunch of them under us. There yeah. goes one of them right there. What do you say? get to the bottom. Double. Ooh, good gilly. Nice one. Swing them over. Look at this. Couple nice ones. Get them unhooked. There you go, Baron. You can get that one taken care of. You know, one of the things you want to do, and I, I just did it there. I told the boys to just hang on a minute. There you go. Because here's the thing. I lost the school, and what will happen on these schools of fish, is we're on a small little hump here, and you can see it on the graph. But here's the thing about it. The school of fish is not huge. It's just there's maybe thousands of fish in the school. They're just really, really tight together. And those fish, they stay close together because there's a lot of things that eat these fish when they're younger. So they learn to stay together in a school. And if that school moves, just creep the boat around until you find that school again because that Minn is gonna allow you to do it nice and slow and you're gonna see them on your hummingbird. Get right back over the top of them and that quick, these boys doubled as soon as we drop back in. That's a good gilly anywhere you go. That's awesome. You know, this is another one of those things too that I'll tell you is <laughs> don't be afraid to, to let the kids do this. You know, we showed Baron this morning how to, how to bait up and, and I know sometimes it's so hard to be patient. There's a ton of fish here, you're in a hurry to get back in the water, but show them how to do it and take the time to teach them how to do it, to teach them this stuff and have the patience to let them do it. There he goes, let it go. There he goes. Got him? <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, when you get on a school of fish like this, I'll tell you a little bit about today's location because it's not what most people would think. Bluegills, for the most part, when you get to midsummer like this, they slide out to structures that aren't those shoreline weeds. And I tell you, this is 12 to 13 feet deep, surrounded by deep water. And the key to this one is there's a little bit of weed growth on the bottom. But that's kind of stuff you're looking for, those first humps off of shore. You can see shore in the background here. We're close to shore. Those fish were in those shoreline weeds not too long ago, but those fish have now roamed out and they get on these little structures. So look for that stuff as you move on in the summer. Your bigger bluegills, your keeper sized panfish are always gonna move offshore and get into those secondary structures, those little humps. 
John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. There you go, Bernie. He's on fire back here now. Good one. Nice fish. Swing him over here. You know, we're in the Big Dad boat today. You know, this is the this is the boat that I use for pretty much everything. But I'll tell you, one of the neatest things about a Lumacraft is the lineup of boats makes it so that no matter what kind of fishing you want to do, I mean. You can do it. Nick has those boats in stock every single day down at Lacan's. All kinds of stuff to choose from. Tiller boats, we do a lot of tiller boats. It's a big seller for us. Uh, really good area for the rivers and the, the main lakes for different types of fishing. A lot of guys from Iowa come up and buy tiller boats. Uh, but a lot of family boats, a single councils, full windshields. Anything from a, a 14 foot to a 21 foot boat. A lot of different options. Yeah, a lot of different ways to get your kids into fishing and, and still be able to get out with the guys or whatever it may be that you want to do. Uh, I'll tell you, Lumacraft's always just made a great boat. They're versatile. Some of these launches on some of these lakes I fish, you would never get into with a big, heavy fiberglass boat. But with an aluminum boat like these Lumacrafts, you can get into some of these lakes that, that I'll tell you what, have fishing like this. One of the things that happens and what I'm gonna do here is just real quick, I might lift everything a little bit. And the reason for that is we're getting on in the morning just a little bit now. And what always happens with these bluegills happens with crappies too. On a day like today, when you got sunshine, clear skies, clear water, it's bright, it's its, its brightest point that you're ever gonna have. These fish will lift as the day goes on and you gotta adjust. So this morning when we got here, I set up right on the bottom. And what I'm doing now is we're working our way up. Now a lot of these fish I'm seeing are three, four feet up. Swing there you right go. Over. There Look you go. Look at that, how quick did that little change matter, huh? Mm -hmm. Fish are just lifting. When they lift, you just wanna go up a little higher. You know, it's really amazing too, nice fish. As you can see this happening on that hummingbird. I mean, we're hovering right over these fish and I'm just watching these fish get higher and higher in the column. And it's as simple as, yep, you're all ready to go. Go right back in. Simple as just sliding that slip knot just a little bit, going a couple feet higher. And now all of a sudden, look at this. They're catching them like crazy again after a little bit of a lull. Lift your rod tip up. There you go. Good job. Good fish. Good job. Yeah, that's a great fish. Whoa, there it is. There it is. Got him? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Frisky one. Good job, buddy. Swing it over to Johnny. Swing him over. Look at that. That's pretty cool, man. We have caught big fish, we've caught medium-sized fish, we've caught small fish. What a what a fun day. Tell you what, before we go today, I want to take a quick minute and have Nick tell you a little bit about his great dealership because if you're itching to get the family out on the water and do this, this is easy to do and Nick can take care of the first step for you. Yeah, it's a great uh, great thing that we have going down at Lacan's Marine. We have pretty much everything a guy could ask for between pontoons, sea dews we've got Lumacraft fishing boats, Vexus fishing boats. Uh, and we have a full complimentary sales staff, parts and service. So we got basically everything that uh, our customer needs. Yeah, and at, at the end of the day, these guys will also take care of your winterization for you. I mean, everything they sell, they service. So, so you're a one-stop shop to take care of everything for everybody. And then, you know, I look at the, one of the things I think is the biggest deal when I walk into Lacan's is the huge selection of boats right there on the show floor. If somebody's looking for a new boat, you guys got everything to show them right there. Lots of colors and lots of options, and that's what people want to see. Yeah, it's one of the one of the things I've I've kidded about before. When you go to Lacan's, it's not, hey, do you have this model in stock? You know what it is? What color would you like? Because <laughs> these guys have it. I'll tell you what, fun day of fishing. Just can't beat it. Get some kids out on the water. This year was one of the best days I've had fishing all year, as far as the fun factor goes. Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. 
John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.